This week, Republican Secretary of State Frank LaRose defended and promoted the new law in comments to legislators in Pennsylvania. We have seen overwhelming approval for the recent new photo, photo ID requirements that Ohio put in place. Uh, the, the previous witness was talking about how voter ID is popular across both sides of the aisle and across a broad swath of Americans. In fact, Pew Research shows that 76 percent support it nationally. That number is 80 percent, according to Monmouth University. And NPR showed that 79 percent want photo ID requirements. So Americans want this. Ohioans want this. I believe uh, Pennsylvanians want that as well. With my support, Ohio leaders in our General Assembly took action. Last month, they passed legislation requiring identification to vote. Just a couple of weeks ago, it was signed into law by our governor, and they did it the right way. In order to ensure that no one is left out, they're making state-issued identification available for free. Anybody that wants one can get one, so no one uh, has any excuse for not having a state ID. Additionally, uh, for those that have maybe religious concerns, and obviously Ohio has a large Amish population, I know Pennsylvania does as well, and for some of them there are religious reasons why they may not want to have their photo taken or maintain a state-issued photo ID. So we have uh, religious exemptions in place for them so that they can still uh, cast their ballot if they choose to do so. Uh, because of the way the law is structured, it won't prevent individuals from voting. Instead, instead, it simply ensures that only eligible citizens and registered voters are able to do so. This is a fair and reasonable measure to maintain the integrity of our elections and to build confidence in the elections process, which is, for me, really the bottom line. Will this change impact the voting experience for a lot of Ohioans? Really, no. I mean, because what we've found when we've sampled our boards of elections is that really 98 percent of Ohioans already show a state ID or driver's license when they come to vote. That number is from both 2022 and in the 2020 election and, and previous election. Government works best when we work together on common sense solutions with strong support from the people. That happened here in Ohio, and it can happen for you all in Pennsylvania as well. Thank you so much, and I look forward to any questions that you all may have for me. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Real briefly, um, you mentioned a recent vote on voter ID laws in, in Ohio, and you mentioned the broad consensus. Out of curiosity, um, what was the breakdown in the State House and State Senate? Was it a bipartisan vote as well, or was it um, less consensus in, in the legislative bodies? <laughs> Yeah, less consensus, and that's concerning because I think that, um, as you've seen, Ohioans, Americans support photo ID, but the political rhetoric around this has been so heated and so uh, divisive that um, too many of our friends and, and colleagues on the Democratic side have come to believe this, uh, this lie that somehow requiring a state-issued photo ID disenfranchises voters as a result of believing uh, that false idea uh, Far too many of them uh, have voted against provisions like this. And so, yeah, it, it broke down basically on party lines. And that's unfortunate because there's a misalignment there then between the representatives uh, and, and the people. Because as I showed you, the, the polling shows very clearly people don't think that it's a, a burden to have to show an ID to vote. 